How Geldinga Dalar Lake flooded Natai Rift Valley. Uh, it is all started when we had a new episode of the eruption in the Fagerdesville area. The volcano itself was dormant for a, more than a week. And then we had this fissure eruption creating a lake of lava all across the Geldinga Dalar Valley. And uh, this was the situation up to yesterday, when the wave after wave of lava was flowing toward the south. Practically, Geldinga Dalar Valley became a Geldinga Dalar Plateau. And this is the lake that was created, smoothened up everything on its way. And yesterday, a new development happened. The lake overspilled downward toward the Natai Valley. This was the first time from a new path it actually created for itself, shortest route. And uh, from another view, we can see that how it happened, the majority of it was coming from the old route actually. But new routes also being opened and this changed everything now. The wall that we had in the Natai Valley, and I will show you at the end of here, it doesn't seem if this phase of eruption continue to be able to stand. The lava is flowing down toward the Natai Valley and as the eruption continues, it will add more lava. They will travel faster and further because the area is already flattened almost more or less by the previous uh, floods of lava. And in the night, you can see that uh, the lake is glowing in the dark. Geldinga Dalar Lake, which is now a plateau actually, is shining, glowing in the dark. This is not the position of the crater, old crater now. This is the new lake. And the plateau is shining. I've marked the uh, spots that actually may uh, flood and overspill. And the situation now, from the viewpoint of the, toward the north east, is that we are around less than two kilometers away from the sea, from the ocean. The wall may not stand. Uh, of course, there is a little bit curvature on the road, so it may be more than two kilometers, around three kilometers to the sea, if it curves.